shifting how they fly from a multi-day trip model to primarily out and back flights. That impacts employees who reach out to us with their concerns. Now we dug into it and found this shift could be a change for everyone on board a Frontier flight. Yes, it's a 180. It's absolutely a 180. The local Frontier Flight Attendance Union says its members will have to work more days and more hours to earn the same pay because of a company-wide decision by the Denver-based airline. The model used by most U.S. carriers is multi-day trips, three or four cities a day, two or three overnights, and back home. And that can be a full work week for a flight attendant. Well, now Frontier is moving to primarily what are called turns, out and back flights every day. We are upset. The flight attendant group is upset. We find that this is a significant negative economic impact on our flight attendant group. Five and a half years. I've been here nine and a half years. And I've been here seven and a half years. Union members Lenore, Anissa, and Chase told us how Frontier's decision impacts them, starting with pay. So if I am on a three-day trip, then I'm getting paid from the time I leave Denver to the time I come back to Denver. And that's a per diem um, that, we, that we are allowed. Roughly $50 a day. So a four-day trip, potentially $200. Then there's the commute time. Previously, in order to get the number of hours that I wanted to fly per month, that was one three- or four-day trip per week for me, which meant four times back and forth to the airport for me. Now, in order to get those same amount of hours, I would be driving back and forth 12 times. On top of that, the union says more than half of their Denver flight attendants are flying commuters who fly into Denver to start work on outbound flights. That's just not feasible to fly in every day for a turn just to fly back home at the end of the night, fly back again the next day to do a turn and fly back again the next night. That's not feasible. We asked Frontier about the decision to shift two turns. They sent us a statement saying in part, more passengers are negatively affected by delays and cancellations when aircraft are routed on multi-day trips versus out and back flying. To better serve our customers, we have reduced multi-day trips. If uh, there's weather disruptions to the entire network, then having an out and back model uh, will reduce those disruptions to the traveling public. Chad Kendall is an aviation professor at Metro State University in Denver. This is a positive benefit for the public. There's going to be less disruptions. And change is hard. But the National Flight Attendance Union is not taking that change lying down. They've deployed petitions asking Frontier to reconsider its new policy. Generally, we're looking at about 5,000 people have signed, um, and we're still increasing those numbers as the petition goes around the, the U.S. And, and other flight attendant groups. And if nothing changes, some flight attendants are simply reconsidering their careers with Frontier. It's the beginning of the end of my time in this career for this airline. This is going to force my hand to leave the company, unfortunately, because I just, I can't do this. Lenore made that decision. I have already submitted my notice. And the union president says many more could follow. We followed up with Frontier with the union members' specific concerns about pay, commute time, and potential resignations. Their response saying they have made efforts to accommodate flight attendants who prefer multi-day trips, something the union disputes, and that, quote, we have not seen any spike in attrition among our flight attendants or pilots. We, as flight attendants, want to see Frontier succeed. We want a business model that works. We just don't want that economic stress of that model to fall on our backs. Now, I also reached out to the pilots union to get their take. They said that employees at Frontier have little to no input, yet they have to bear the brunt of these types of changes and that this new out and back decision, quote, is burdening us with hotel costs and reduced per diem. Going further in depth, the United Airlines also wants to shake up its operations by requiring pilots to take time off unpaid. The issue is Boeing, which hasn't been able to deliver some of the airplanes United ordered. Since there aren't enough planes to fly, the airline is asking pilots to volunteer for unpaid leave. For now, this request is for May. A pilot's union memo says it could extend through the summer. The carrier is looking into buying more jets from Airbus, but deliveries on new orders can take years.